my job is finished here. Welcome at the Jacroja Bridge. I'm going to leave you in the hands of Sven. Uh, as I mentioned, uh, Jacroja was uh, president of IOC, lived in our city. We were very happy to, to have him um, in our city. Uh, he passed away in 2013 and we, the family agreed that we give that bridge his name. Uh, we could also use the Olympic rings. We, had to, we have the admission of uh, the IOC for that. They were, the director of IOC was here uh, for the opening of the bridge. And it makes, it makes a good connection. It's not the end of what we do. We also need, uh, at that uh, traffic light, we need a tunnel. Because here we have the, yeah, a lot of people live there. So that's the reason why we, we need that connection. That goes to all the way to Courtre. You know, the place in the city where it was not a part of the city, there live 4,000 people, very good connected to our city. So you don't, as a mayor, you don't, you, it's also important what the neighbors do. So if you have them back on a bicycle, if they come on a bicycle, it's good. It's good for every for everything. So thank you very much. I hope to see you in Ghent, uh, one of, uh, one uh, at one of the other sessions. I have a session tomorrow about um, uh, shared mobility in our in our city. So I hope you uh, enjoy our city and uh, Sven. Thank you, thank you once again. Keep the keep the applause going. <laughs> 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 Thank you very much, uh, Jan. Jan is the mayor of uh, Deins. And we, have, we have a very good cooperation with uh, 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 a lot of local authorities in Deins. Uh, in the uh, east province of East uh, Flanders, especially with the, the city of Deins, but uh, many other local authorities. I am Sven Taldeman. I'm a cycle manager for the province of East Flanders. I am here today with two other guides, my colleague Davy. Davy is also a cycle manager, but for the center of our uh, province, Ghent and the, the region of Ghent. And also Peter, Peter van uh, Sevenhand, the formal director of the Department of Mobility uh, in uh, Ghent. And uh, I think of uh, a kind of the, the godfather of the, the whole switch to a city uh, of uh, cyclists in uh, Ghent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, the province of East Flanders. We have Flanders here. Flanders. Flanders is uh, one of the three regions in Belgium. We have Flanders, we have Wallonia uh, region, and we have Brussels. Brussels uh, is in the middle here, under, and uh, no, here in the, the, on the map. This is Flanders, and it, it exists of five provinces. And the five provinces uh, are uh, supra-local. They, they act supra-local. And uh, we developed 10 years ago a network of cycle highways for uh, the whole region of Flanders. The five provinces uh, cooperate to develop the network, to make a plan and to uh, a plan with all cycle highways in uh, Flanders. We also cooperate with other, um, with the Flemish government and also with the, for example, the Belgian uh, railway uh, cooperation. So, we studied and we developed this plan of uh, connecting uh, cities in Flanders. And what is unique, but maybe not so unique, but quite unique, is that uh, in Flanders, every 15 kilometers, you have another city. So, uh, and between those cities, you have uh, towns. So when you live in a town and you live, you work in a city like Deins or in Ghent, you live about six, seven, eight, nine or 10 kilometers from the place you work, you go to school, you need to go to a doctor, you want to see, you go to the, to the theater or whatever, uh, or you like to party. So these are perfect uh, cycling distances. And uh, to, to get people on the, the bicycle, uh, 10 years ago, we also saw the uh, evolution to the start of electric electrification of the bicycle. So 10, 15 kilometers is no, uh, no, no obstacle to, to cycle. There is the weather, but yeah, uh, the weather is like uh, today is a kind of uh, yeah, Belgian uh, uh, weather, but uh, quite uh, cold. Yeah, yeah. Yesterday was extreme uh, bad weather. Just here you see the network and you see the circle here between Deins and Ghent, 16, 17 kilometers between uh, those uh, cities. And we, here we stand on the cycle highway F7. And like every province, 
we develop and we build, we realize those cycle highways in a good cooperation. And we do it in 50% budget of the province and 50% budget of the, uh, the Flemish government who subsidiates uh, the province of East Flanders in this uh, case. Uh, the, uh, the, net, the railway uh, but that we will see further on. The next stop is where they built a tunnel under the, the railway. That's of, uh, the cost of the railway uh, company. The local, comp the local uh, authority, the municipality of uh, Deinze, the city, for example, is, uh, uh, has to uh, do the land acquisition. And there were some specials uh, here in, uh, in Deinze for to realize the F7. For example, they bought a house and uh, you have the, yeah, was that the Moprit, uh, the, access, oh, yeah. the access to the to the house where the car was parked. There now at this moment is the cycle highway. You will see it uh, further on. But here is a very special situation. Here was what is the cemetery of Deinze, of the center uh, of Deinze. And, uh, uh, there was a whole, um, uh, uh, they need to talk with the people, the families and so, but uh, it was okay to uh, replace the graves of uh, the, those families to have a, a little bit more uh, space to uh, realize the cycle highways. In the year of 2015-16, we were together with uh, Jan, the, the mayor, and also with uh, Gilles, I don't know if Gilles is uh, here still, from the city of Erding. Uh, and they were, they were talking about would we uh, lead the cyclists to that crossroads for uh, lanes, uh, very much cars, thousands and thousands of cars a day, many, many, many uh, trucks that come from the industries further on in the western uh, in, um, province of West Flanders and so. So I said, no, 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 we go here, we, uh, uh, we, we uh, realize a bridge. And to realize the bridge, you need money. And we also got we, uh, the money from a European fund. Maybe you know, we call it EFRO, European Fund for Regional Development, Ontwikkeling. Yep. Uh, E-F-R-D uh, e uh, for in English. <laughs> uh, and so we, we gained, uh, I, th I thought, 800,000 euros to, uh, and that was all, all these bridges, I thought, 4 million, uh, Something like uh, 4 million euros to realize 600 meters of cycle highways with in fact three bridges a big bridge over this uh, highway and two smaller bridge over the very local streets but we needed also external capacity and uh, intellect uh, of a, a good architect so we uh, hired uh, the, the office of uh, SBE but now I give uh, the architect uh, the word for this uh, bridge uh, I thank you Sven for uh, the invitation. Um, well, like uh, Sven said, um, yeah, I don't have a very strong voice, sorry for that, but uh, like Sven said, um, the ambition was to cross the main road, the N35, which is, as you see, quite uh, wide, quite, uh, quite busy because it's one of the main entrances to uh, Deinze. Um, and when we started to, to, to design and to investigate how we would position the bridge, and we want to have comfortable slopes, uh, not to have like too, too steep slopes because uh, older people also have to be able to use these bridges. We, uh, we quite quickly uh, found that it was better to also cross two local roads. Uh, that's the Sentuberstraat over there. And this is the Velostraat. It used to be Veldstraat. Now it's called Velostraat because of the bridge, because of the, the bicycle infrastructure. Uh, Velo, Velo, is a, Velo. Is a, <laughs> I thought you were. Um, so we quickly proposed to, uh, in, instead of designing one bridge, we would design three bridges of the same family. Uh, like you see, they're quite, uh, quite similar. They're quite basic, quite elegant, quite, quite uh, slender as well. If you see them from un underneath, they're like, like, a, like a folded paper who get their structure because of the folding. So they're very slender, very simple structure. Um, the bridge itself wasn't the most difficult part in the design because like you see, on the one side you have a railway station, on the other side you have a cemetery, you have houses quite near. Uh, quite near. This is also a garden, a private garden, so we had little space to, to construct everything. Because if you want to buy, build a bridge, if you want to design slopes, you also have to have slopes to, to build your, uh, your, uh, your bridge. Uh, so we, st we started thinking about um, 
first of all uh, using retaining walls but we, we thought reta retaining walls would be like too aggressive the, too much concrete too much you know too much infrastructure so we thought about uh, a way to have natural slopes but very steep slopes so, so we started designing with uh, reinforced uh, soil i don't know if you know the concept but it's it's a way of packing soil in a very very steep way so if you look from uh, from the environment you don't have uh, uh, a concrete view but you have like a very green view there's, there's you can see there's plants climbing all over uh, it's very wild it's very natural so we want to have a very comfortable bridge but in a very natural context because it's, it's it, it, it gives an extra uh, attraction to to uh, bicycle to to cyclists to use the infrastructure we didn't want to have like a, a very very harsh uh, infrastructural um, complex so uh, i think it's been a year and a half since the yeah. the bridge two years, has two, two years. sorry two yeah. and, uh, i'm getting old uh, so it's been two years since the bridge has opened and um, i live in bruges which is like 30 kilometers from here in the weekends I take my bike I come here to have like a very nice uh, a very nice biking trip with the kids um, and maybe uh, maybe one more thing I would like to say uh, Sven was talking yep. about the, the the context of bicycle highways so also if you look like a highway that's designed for cars we don't uh, use traffic lights we don't use cross sections you have intersections that's the same thing we did here you see the local road here, we created an intersection between the local bicycle structure and the bicycle highway. So if you're driving on the highway, you can. there's no conflict between local traffic, uh, motorcycles or, uh, or cars. You can just have one fluent, uh, one fluent uh, ride from Kent to Kortrijk uh, almost. Thank you very much, Tom. That's yes. a perfect uh, uh, intro for the next uh, four stops we will have on our trip of uh, 16 kilometers to Ghent. When we come on uh, at the last stop on another bridge, an older cycle bridge, uh, we gave uh, the guide, uh, Peter, we will be uh, our guide to okay. go uh, uh, through Ghent to the Villa City uh, Center. Uh, the next four stops we will have on this cycle highway, it, I think it's, it illustrates how to realize, how to develop and realize cycle highways in Flanders. Flanders is very populated very much industries and a very diffuse model of uh, settlements of cities towns uh, houses uh, industries everything is uh, uh, spread out so it's very difficult is the, the the space is scarce that's uh, in fact what this also illustrates how to put a comfortable cycling bridge on a very scar space cars space and that's what we have uh, on other places also we uh, we pass uh, by near a big um, uh, city, uh, city uh, development, urban city, urban urban development. Urban development. we pass uh, 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 an, an agriculture uh, um, surrounding we pass uh, a, a town the pinte uh, near uh, with a small station also there there's scars of space uh, so we have to be very uh, intelligence to make it as, as comfortable and as safe as possible for the cyclist and the last stop is in a, a green how can I say a big park it's more than a park it's kind of a landscape green. near the big city of Ghent where there is a, a combination of recreation and landscape green nature and so on and there yeah at the big city as Ghent you have highways you have a um, you have a, a big canal and you have to uh, cross those barriers also with a bridge. And there you will see a bridge that is uh, developed 10 years earlier. And this is a comfortable bridge all, uh, for four or five meters wide. Five, five and a half. Five, five and, and a half, half meters wide. Yeah. There you will see the bridge is, is three, three and a half three meters. And a half it is, yeah. Three and a half mm -hmm. wide, you will see. It's no. not that comfortable uh, anymore like we thought Peter, it's designed the, 15 years yeah. ago when we, yeah. we yeah. knew bicycles would go up, but yeah. so much that we, yeah. we didn't expect yeah. it. Yeah. So many of the infrastructure we designed 15, 20 years ago, today is too narrow. Mm. So, and you will see oh, several generations of just the, the cycle highway, not the bridges or, or other tunnels also, but just the cycle highway, several generations. We started 10 years ago, 10, 12 years ago uh, with this part. Uh, uh, to uh, Ghent and you will see some parts that are just two and a half meters wide, mm. three meters wide and three and a half till four meters wide. So there are several uh, parts that are 
year after year um, the, new, the newer yeah. it is, the wider they yeah. get. What, 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 what is the standard? Would yeah. be what, yeah. Yeah. The standard oh, now at this <laughs> moment is four meters wide. Four meters. Yeah. And this is what we have here. You have pedestrians, you have people on a wheelchair, uh, you have people with uh, yeah, the, the, the uh, transport uh, cargo bikes, side, cargo and bike. you have uh, people walking yeah. their dogs. You have, uh, you have the normal uh, bicycle on muscles, you have the electrical uh, bicycle, you have the speed pedelec. You have so much uh, different uh, cyclists, so you need more uh, Four meters space. is the minimum for highways yeah. now. Okay. Yeah. Do you know how many people? Cycle daily. Yeah. Well, you will see the counter. Ah, oh, yes, good. We have <laughs> two counters. Yeah. Yes, but it's an average. Normally, cycle. at that point, yeah. uh, we will have today thousand, thousand, normally twelve hundred uh, cyclists a day. Here it's a little bit more than in Ghent, where yeah. the counter is. It's yeah. about uh, twelve hundred a day, yeah. and in Ghent maybe eleven hundred. Yeah. But over a year, it's almost four hundred thousand. Uh, yeah. yeah. In yeah. Ghent, so and yeah. here a bit more. Yeah, here a little uh, bit more because they have more. Yeah. It's nearer the, the counter is yeah. near the center in Ghent. Yeah. The counter is far from the center. Okay. Many, many families live over there in houses yeah. with yeah. children and the children cycle here to the schools in the mm -hmm. city center and that makes that it a very much uh, used uh, mm -hmm. cycle highway okay So Sven's, I saw that uh, we had the signage back there for the, the cycle highway here and the distances too. Yeah. Fantastic. And that's part of the standard is making sure that there's yeah. that wayfinding and yeah, wayfinding. Yes. That's uh, yeah. the the logo, the, yeah. uh, the brand you see yeah. on my back. Yes. Yeah. That's uh, the brand for the all cycle highways in Flanders. Yeah. And every cycle highway has also a unique number. And it's not just a quick pick the number, yeah. it's also uh, with a, a logic. Yeah. Every province has his numbers. Yeah. And the big connections between provinces are unique numbers yeah. also. Very good. Yeah. And how long have you been in your role? Uh, in this role, 10 years. But 10 I years. Worked, uh, 20 years for the province of East Flanders. Okay. Yeah. Very good. And uh, in 2014, I, uh, I uh, suggested maybe we should uh, make a plan of cycle highways in our yeah. province. Yeah. And why not? Why not with our colleagues of the other provinces to make a whole network for whole whole Flanders, right? The whole region. And so we did. Yeah. We did, and it's fantastic. Yeah. That we have uh, the same ambition, the same. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah. Support to yeah. Uh, realize uh, these. Uh, cycle highway connections yeah. what a cool job yes, yes, yes. <laughs> but uh, it also takes a lot of patience yes and uh and uh yeah diplomacy yes yeah yeah for sure <laughs> yeah well this is just beautiful i mean yeah. you guys have done an amazing job yeah. here this is one of the older parts it's yeah. just uh two and a half meter wide yeah this is a uh, 10 12 years ago yeah realized yeah yeah but uh, the quality is okay, yeah? Yeah, 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 no. And again, you know, a lot of people complain and say, oh, this is too expensive. But in reality, this is very cheap compared to uh, automobile infrastructure. Yeah, uh, now we are doing, after we invested 100 years yeah. in, uh, in roads and roads and roads and bigger roads. Yeah. Now we are doing something... Uh, at last we do something for the cyclists. Exactly. Yes. Yeah. Now we want to uh, give the cyclists their uh, safe space. Yeah. And when we say cyclists, we really mean everybody. Anyone who's on a bike or yeah. wheelchair yeah. or yeah. wheels. Yeah. Yes. You see? Yeah. Yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. Thank you so much for doing this tour. Yeah, thank you yeah. very much. It's yeah. also a pleasure for me to yeah. uh, guide people. Yeah. And uh, also in Velocity, 
we saw a lot of we see a lot of pre presentations where I see how they manage it in other countries yes yeah and, uh, that is uh, quite interesting yeah you see that many countries starts with uh, for example a six lane wide uh, road uh, in a city give two lanes to the cyclists right with painting yep with poles uh, and that's the first step you right. see it in many 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 cities also in Ghent the first projects were uh, were like that yeah you see it also in Denze to give some space to the cycle yeah how Bicycle. important is it to have a mayor like Jan who is so supportive for your cause and how that's, you, uh, yeah. that's uh, that's a present for us, eh? Yeah. To have a, a local authority with a mayor that is uh, full force, uh, try to realize together uh, this uh, cycle highways and, and and bicycle infrastructure. Yeah. 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 You need that because when you have a local authority that is not interested, right? Yeah. You can. Uh, how do you say it? You can bring the horse to the water, but right. if the horse doesn't... Yeah. Doesn't want to drink, you can't do it. <laughs> yeah. 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 Brilliant. Brilliant. Yeah. I turn the camera around and get a little bit more action here. Yeah. On some places... Yeah. This is also an access for a cemetery. Okay. And a local uh, football uh, team. Yes. Yeah. And I do see here um, we do because of the access this turns into a feed stride, a shared space. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah shared yeah. space. This is shared space. Here they so the 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 local authority mm -hmm. Jan, yeah, yeah. bought this house. Ah, this is the one Jan and, was talking and about. At, uh, near the house there yes. was the access for the car. Yes. So the house is still and it's uh, renovated. Ah, okay. So but, we're technically still in Denza. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah okay. Yeah. 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 Very nice. Yeah, so this is the this access. This is also part of the, 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 branding, the branding of the cycle highway. Right, yes. And also the guide. And the guide, yeah. You know, also, we have to give a uh, priority, so uh, be careful. Okay. Be careful, okay? Yeah. Looks good. This is uh, also an older uh, realization. Yes. It's difficult with the ditch. Uh, yeah, the little ditch right there, yeah. the constraining this a yeah. little bit. Yeah. Yeah. Several generations, but yeah. in fact, you can uh, cycle safety, safe. Yeah. From uh, Ghent to Denze. Yeah. And further on from Denze to uh, to the border of our province, mm -hmm. you just need to realize three kilometers. Oh, that's and very, that's very, yeah. Well, no, they yeah. started for the first kilometer. Yeah. And the last two and a half kilometers will start next year. Oh, so in 2026, fabulous. we have yeah. a completed cycle highway over 27 kilometers uh, in our province. Congratulations, yeah. that's great. Thank you, thank you. Yeah. So having done this for 10 years, any sage advice uh, to those places trying to do this? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You mentioned earlier patience. Yeah. It, 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 uh, patience, diplomacy. <laughs> diplomacy. Yeah. Those are two very good words. Uh, cooperate with a lot of uh, uh, authorities. Yeah. yeah. That sense of For cooperation. For example, you have authorities yeah. of nature. You have authority of. Uh, uh, how do you say Erfurt? Uh, historical. Uh, yes, yeah. The preservation, historic yeah, preservation. Yeah yeah, yeah. 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 And I see new housing here. Yeah. And I see the integration of yeah. the housing to the cycle yeah. pathway. So yeah. they are directed to the cycle highway. They have yes. a connection to the cycle highway. Very important. Yes. Those people jump on the bicycle and 10 minutes later they are in the city center right that's why why, why we are doing it <laughs> yes yeah. yeah fantastic now for this new housing would they have any sort of requirements or uh, codes that require bicycle parking i think within? i don't know for sure but uh -huh. i think they have a bicycle uh, 
parking, I'm not sure of it. Yeah, yeah. But again, most of them oh, are I see a uh, bike right there. obligated to yeah. uh, uh, have a bicycle uh, yeah. parking. Yeah. And again, we can hear the birds chirping. Yeah. We've got a little bit of nature. And we're essentially following the corridor of the tracks, the rail tracks. Yeah. Okay, here we have an example of the cooperation between uh, uh, we as a uh, to take initi initiative for uh, developing and realizing the cycle highway F7 uh, and the with the railway, the railway that um, the railroad company that uh, wants to have less uh, crossings of the railway because every crossing of the railway is a weak point on your railway uh, yeah. uh, network. Yeah. So, uh, and also dangerous for people uh, to have an accident uh, and a, an accident with a train is mostly uh, deadly. <laughs> yeah, allez, it's not funny, but... Um, okay, so here there was, um, you see that uh, road, here there was um, a crossing of the, of the railway and they uh, could have um, closed it by realizing a tunnel for cyclists yeah. and pedestrians. You see there the, 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 the church of the village uh, Astene. Astene is a village near uh, Deinze. We passed it also with the bus uh, on that horrible uh, highway. Uh, bon. so that's the village, the, the city set the center of the village. And here is a big urban uh, development. You see it's hundreds of, uh, uh, of uh, houses that are on, uh, with this tunnel connected with the safe um, road over there, but also with the cycle uh, highway to the center of uh, the village, but also the center of the town of the city uh, of uh, Deinze. So here you have the story of the cooperation with railway and the urban uh, development. You also saw that the, the streets in the development, the urban development, has their direct connection to the cycle highway. Yeah. People get on the uh, jumps on their bicycle and are in 10 minutes they are in the city uh, center mm -hmm. to uh, have a reduction uh, of uh, car using cars for uh, small distances. Sorry, meneer. We zijn hier de wet aan het geven van de fietsen. There we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> voilà. And on this way, uh, older people get their uh, grandchild uh, of the school uh, by the, mm -hmm. the cycle highway. That's uh, what we are uh, we are doing it. Eh? Why? For, okay. Yes. Why we are doing it? Needs to stop. Okay. Let's uh, move the fiets now. And again, we see nice integration here to the community, to the cycle route. Very nicely done. To Savin's point, you want to have that connectivity to the communities. Very, very nicely done. Hello, sheep. Hey, girls. Hey. Oh, yes. I know, I know. What else do you have to say for yourselves? Tour, okay, but in five years or three years, it will be uh, straight uh, forward. So ah, now we make okay. a, sm a small detour. So again, for this to happen, they're gonna have to compromise with farmers, right, to be able to acquire some of that right away from we, uh, like the trail company. Uh, normally, we can buy land from the farmers when they have a good. Um, hey, uh, Zeta, they have a. a, a the normal price, a normal price, 
but it's, it, it, it is all controlled. Eh? It's not. Uh, wait, you know what I mean? It's so like the government would say what is a fair price. Mm. Yeah. Determine what that. Yeah, but that's all. That's is. all statistics of prices uh, in the region, for example. Mm. Okay. How much you pay for uh, agriculture uh, land here yeah. in this part of uh, Flanders? Mm -hmm. Um, and that price uh, we pay for uh, for the for the land eh? we use we use right. we need pardon. And how does the negotiations then work with the Belgian railways? Very good. Very yeah. Good. Yeah. Okay. But you have, uh, for example, in Belgium, maybe also in your country, you have uh, two railway companies. You have the railway company that uh, uh, built and explore the railway. And you have the, the railway company that's uh, the operator, the operator with the right. trains and the stations. Okay, so you guys have done and, that in Belgium. And the second one yep. is very difficult to cooperate. So the operator. Yep. The saddle has a mind of its own. Maybe you <laughs> ask, why are we stopping here? There's nothing to see. No, it is very small. You can see here. It's uh, this thing. Yeah. <laughs> And uh, uh, there also, and uh, this, this, because we have uh, a boze boer, uh, an angry farmer, a mean, an an angry angry farmer. mean farmer uh, of this uh, land, and his uh, farm is over there, or maybe it's uh, the other way. He don't like it that he can't pass here anymore. In uh, earlier times, this was a road. Uh, there was a, yeah. a normal road. Uh, also for farmers, people who live here, mm -hmm. but we made it as a cycle highway just by putting this aisle. Okay. So people who live here, they know they, they, the, the, the house is, uh, you can reach the house by uh, that way uh, in out. But the farmer doesn't like that he can't uh, uh, come from there uh, to reach his land and he has to go that way to his land there. So uh, more, several times, he cut off the oh this uh, this thing. You see, it is uh, uh, broken. It's with a uh, how do you say the tractor? Yeah, tractor. Uh, yeah. And uh, every uh, year, once a year, we find this in the oh. ditch <laughs> here. So uh, yeah. So normally we have a good uh, cooperation with the farmers and agriculture. There is a lot of diplomacy. Uh, we you need to reach that, but sometimes. Uh, now yeah, you have a, 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 a mean a farmer. Uh, yeah. On the count of three, we all do, do boo. <laughs> the? the count of three, we all together do boo. Boo. Okay, that's yes. the story of uh, uh, this part of the cycle highway okay. in an agricultural surrounding. You also need to uh, make good um, yeah. uh, agreements. Agreements, agreements mm -hmm. with the uh, with the uh, farmers and also people who live here and normally it's uh, we uh, achieve that but sometimes we doesn't we don't yeah but yeah. they can go by car they go by car go that way yeah yeah and that's how they get in and out and there's yeah. no problem yeah. yeah there's no problem but some people make a problem of it yeah. Mm -hmm. With uh, an entrance to the cycle highway. Yeah. Here and this is the town of the Pinte. Ah, okay. Yeah. 
Yeah, it's very, very nice to see the integration of the residential neighborhoods and communities to the pathway here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You can tell that it's the people a, on this side of the railway are better off than that side. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. They have a longer route to get to the, yeah, the yeah, cycle those, highway. Yeah, the cycle highway yeah. Uh, over there. Yeah. yeah. By a tunnel. Yeah. Are there any provisions for um, dampening the noise pollution uh, along the, the cycle highways uh, from like the rail traffic the rail or for. Traffic. Well, yeah. That's. Uh, it's hard. Like yeah. of uh, trains and uh, they're working on it, but that's. You know, uh, for new generations of trains, to get new generation of trains, that yeah. takes decennia. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How about any sound barriers? Do you see any yes, of that there happening? Are. Yeah, there are. Okay. There are. Yeah, but more at the the highways than the than the than rails. The yeah. Railways. Yeah. Would does, does planting uh, greenery like we see right there along those houses does that help? With grass, some of the noise? It helps a little bit, but uh, yeah. to reduce the noise, it's better to have uh, fences. Eh? Yeah, like the fence. Yeah, yeah. yeah. like we see on we this see side. Them, uh, you see here, the, yeah. Uh, you see them on very, very much places. Yeah. Uh, in Flanders, near the, the highways. Yeah. Because, yeah, Flanders is very densely populated. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, and I mean, it's it's model. not it's not terrible when the train goes by, but you do notice. Wow, that's quite loud. Uh, yeah. I was born near a yeah. <laughs> train, a railway yeah, yeah. track, and yeah. you you get used to it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And you know, oh, it's uh, it's uh, what time it is. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. We see another one of our diverters here. Yeah. The barriers in the middle, preventing the motor vehicles from traveling through. And then transitioning to a feet strut. Yeah, uh, feet strut. Yeah. It's together with uh, the cars. It's a uh, shared space. Right. And this recipe will take uh, one or two kilometers here in the Pinta. Okay. Yeah, because there is no other possibility. It's right. This or nothing. Right. But uh, the traffic is quite uh, scarce. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. quite low. Yeah. yeah, low. Yeah. So low traffic volumes yeah, low traffic. and low traffic speeds. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Thirty, a maximum of thirty kilometers. Yeah. An hour, and when there is a car behind you, yeah, the car needs to stay behind you. Right. Yeah. 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 And until again, until the end of the Fitzrat. Until the end of the Fitzrat. Yes. This is a train of 40 years old. It yes. makes a lot of noise. Yes, yes. The other type before yeah, yes. was uh, with a reduced noise. Yes, this yes, was yes. extremely loud. That this was, was a extremely loud. Train. It was also slow too. <laughs> yeah. If it were going faster, it'd probably be even but noisier. If it fast, it's like a Katyusha racket. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Nice yeah. line of people riding here. Are there any regulations on pedelecs uh, on the cycle superhighways? No. Okay. But well, uh, when where the cycle highway is uh, in a, a Fitzstraat uh, yeah. regime, yeah. They, the, also the speed pedelecs need to limit their space, their, yeah. their speed, pardon, excuse yeah. me, uh, at 30 kilometers okay. per hour. They too need to slow down. We yeah. here before the yeah. Mercedes. Okay. Yeah, okay. This is, uh, now we are in the, the town of the Pinte. The Pinte is a, a quite concentrated, but quite big uh, town between Deense and Ghent. I think the Pinte has uh, 5,000, 6,000 uh, people who live here. Uh, so the only way to pass uh, near the city, the, the town center, is by a shared space. Uh, and it's called Fietstraat in, in, in Dutch, or uh, bicycle uh, roads. Uh, and it means that uh, 
you share the space with uh, cars at the maximum speed of 30 kilometers an hour. And when there is a car behind you, the cars stay behind you. It's also important yeah. that uh, also important that uh, in amounts of cars and amounts of cyclists, that there are much more cyclists than uh, cars to let it function safely and good functioning. So we think this is a quite good uh, example of a Fitzstraat uh, that is uh, here near the uh, town center uh, on the cycle highway to let it uh, yeah. Yeah. functioning. Yeah. Okay. And you can also see a bit further on we have double deck. You saw them in Danes as well. But more and more at the railway stations. We see those double deck, uh, double tire uh, bicycle stands. And as I said this morning, the railway company grossly underestimated the role of the bike uh, that the bike would have in transport to the railway stations. But now they are, you may be having, you have seen it, they are refurbishing this, uh, the yeah. station and they will put in some more uh, bicycle stands as well. This is a type of trains of 20 years old with a, an old uh, diesel engine. Yeah. Uh, one more thing, we crossed the railway over there and it's a, a, a kind of a difficult railway uh, crossing. And now we uh, recently, we uh, had the good news from Europe, EFRO, the European Fund for Regional Development. And we will have 800,000 euros to buy, to, to uh, to uh, build uh, a tunnel for cyclists and pedestrians here uh, in the Pinte. But now the, hill, the study started to uh, develop a good uh, cycle highway and it's good for a cycle highway to Deense, but there is also a cycle highway to Oudenaarde, Ronse, the southern part of our province and to the Walloon uh, region. So this tunnel is uh, very important. Yeah. And uh, now today we have here almost more than 1,000 cyclists a day. With the tunnel, we think we can go to 1,500 cyclists uh, a day. Voilà, that's why uh, we are doing it. And now we go to the last um, stop uh, before we uh, entering uh, Ghent. Now you will cycle <laughs> through uh, what we call the Groenpool. Uh, it's a green uh, landscape around Ghent. Um, by history, it's uh, agriculture, but also uh, big castles of uh, yeah, rich industrials. Because you know that uh, Ghent is not just a medieval city, but it's also a very industrial city in history. Now it's economical, a very important city for Flanders <laughs> and for Belgium, <coughs> but less industry, more um, services, services and so on, and the harbor in the northern part of the city. But there was a lot of textile industry. Textile, yeah. Uh, yeah. Textile, 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 yeah, and uh, many of those uh, directors of uh, textile industries had castles around Ghent in the greener surroundings in the 19th century yeah. around Ghent. Well, that landscape, you will, we will cross that landscape <coughs> on an old um, uh, railway that crosses that uh, uh, part of Ghent, yeah, and that old railway uh, it, it has gone, and there now there is. Uh, the, the cycle highway, <laughs> but uh, Peter, maybe you were uh, on the developing of that cycle highway also. But um, we have uh, Erfgoed, I can't say the heritage, heritage. The, heritage um, the Flanders Authority, the heritage of Flanders Authority that told us we couldn't um, put uh, asphalt mm -hmm. as a, a oh, surface, yeah. but we needed to use uh, gravel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For the historical yeah, yeah. context. Yeah, yeah. And, for historical the, and for the nature conserva and for conservation. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, yeah. The, the nature authority was not against the... But no, yeah. they will change it. Yeah. Eh? We have mm -hmm. a building, or there's an... Uh, it's true, and uh, the, the strange thing is, the whole, this uh, part of the bridges were paid by the Department of Mobility and Transport of the Flemish government, and another department of them said, okay, but you can't, uh, the, the parts leading to the bridges, you can't uh, surface them properly, you have to need gravel. Yeah. But now, very common sense has prevailed, and now we have, a, there is a permit uh, in, um, want to have the permit to build yeah. a surfaced uh, road, because in the beginning, all was fine, but now after six years, it's degraded, and when it's raining, there are lots of rain yeah, ponds yeah, in yeah, it, yeah. and the, the 
the use the yeah. surface you can use is very narrow yeah. but finally they're gonna we're gonna surface it it will be after summer somewhere yeah ghent is about six or seven kilometers more north many people live here and work Come in here. ghent yeah. and there are many many users of the cycle highway who works in ghent go to school uh, in ghent and much of those people uh, they have uh, mud on the mud, trousers. Yeah. They, we, yeah. they complain about uh, uh, dirty clothing yeah. because of the unsurfaced. Uh, and it's also not good paper. for the gears yeah. and the, no, of the cyclists. Bad. So uh, yeah. bicycles. But so uh, it will change, I think, this year or yeah, next no, year. They, t they told me somewhere in autumn it, it could uh, ah, okay. happen already. Yeah. But yeah. Common sense has prevailed. And so. it will be paid <laughs> by the city of Ghent, the province of East uh, Flanders and the Flemish uh, government. Okay. Voilà. But now you will see uh, the heritage. How, yeah. <laughs> how, not, how not to build the cycle. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. And folks, that brings us to the conclusion of part two of our ride from Denza to Ghent uh, on the cycle highway. I hope you enjoyed part two. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment down below and share it with a friend. And if you haven't done so already, be honored to have you subscribe to the channel. Just click on that subscription button down below and ring the notifications bell. And as you can tell, we're going to actually experience a lot of cool stuff along the way, including the natural surface trail that Peter and Svens was just mentioning that is going to get redone. Once again, thank you so much for tuning in. It really means so much to me. Well, until next time, this is John signing off by wishing you much activity, health, and happiness. Cheers. And again, sending a huge thank you out to all my Active Towns ambassadors supporting the channel on Patreon, Buy Me A Coffee, YouTube Super Thanks, as well as making contributions to the nonprofit and purchasing things from the Active Towns store. Every little bit adds up and it's much appreciated. Thank you all so much.